Hi guys, today is Monday. I hope everyone's day is off to an amazing start. Thanks so much for stopping in today, guys. All right, I'm outside because the housekeepers are here. Hi. <laughs> And I really don't like to be in the house when they're here. I don't know, it makes me feel kind of weird when, when they're in the house cleaning and I'm just hanging out. So I decided to take my coffee outside. Um, I have a house plant there that I am going to pot up as well. I actually purchased it a few days ago from Home Depot. So I am hoping, fingers crossed, that um, I have better luck with that than I, uh, I'm currently having with my fiddle leaf fig plants. But yeah, I hope everybody's having a great day. I'm gonna bring you guys along for all of the fun or lack thereof of what I'll be doing today. So let's get this day started. The name of the plant is the, oh no, the dumb cane. All right, uh, <laughs> not sure if I'm happy about the name of it, but hopefully, uh, it does better than its name. So let me know if you guys have had any luck with this particular house plant. Um, it's a really pretty plant, so I hope it does well. So let's go ahead and transfer it over here and get rid of this guy. I wish I could find a pot that would actually take up the entire circumference of this accent pot here, but I have not had any luck so I kind of have this one sitting in here stacked up on another pot. So that's why that's looking kind of wonky like that. But I'm hoping this one will look a little bit better as it is a lot fuller. So we'll see. Housekeepers are gone. And I have actually placed my new plant in its new home and I think it looks great guys. Oh my gosh, this looks so much better. I think it's gonna get just the perfect amount of sunlight coming from this window. Yeah, I love it. So I'm going to, um, you know, continue to watch my other fiddle leaf fig plant, see how it does. And if I can't get it to turn around, then I'll be purchasing one of these for the family room but I just love it right here. Oh my gosh, this looks so much better, so much better. All right guys, so it's just about dinner time and I wanted to share with you all what I will be preparing for dinner today. So we'll start right here with the veggies. I have some string beans that I'm getting ready to toss in a little bit of the seasoning here. It's just your basic mix, garlic salt, um, I'm sorry, garlic, pepper, um, onion, pepper, all-purpose, 
Um, so nothing really special um, except for the fact that I did add a little bit of turmeric in here. You guys know I talked about turmeric a few videos ago, so I'm going to give it a try here on these string beans. I'm going to add in a little bit of this garlic and I'm going to toss these little baby potatoes over here with the string beans and I'll place them on this uh, aluminum foil and I plan on placing these little veggie packets on the grill. So this will be the first time I've used the grill since the weather got warm. So this should be a really tasty mix of veggies. And we're also going to have pork chops that I'll place on the grill. I've already seasoned them up just a little bit with some Himalayan sea salt and black pepper, not too much. I have my own little mixture of hoisin sauce and barbecue sauce that as the um, pork chops start to you know cook thoroughly through I will add this sauce on top and finally we're going to have some semi homemade mac and cheese um, I really don't feel like doing a whole lot with mac and cheese today so I always keep these little craft boxes of macaroni and cheese on hand um, Chase loves mac and cheese okay um, so I try to keep these on hand, but to kick it up a notch, I'm going to add some shredded Parmesan, some shredded cheddar, some garlic powder, and one egg. You guys will have to leave me a comment below and let me know if you put eggs in your mac and cheese. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and put you guys on the tripod so that you can cook along with me today. Do let me know what you guys are preparing for dinner for your family tonight, or are you guys going to eat out or order in? All right, but either way, this is what we are having. So let me go ahead and get everything prepped up. So what I'm going to do is just poke a few holes in my little potatoes. So, um, you know, they absorb all of or as much flavor as they can. But I wanted to ask you guys what you all were watching right now. You guys know that Game of Thrones has come to an abrupt end. And um, like many of you, I'm sure Eric and I were not, um, you know, all that happy with the ending. But what we have found is a replacement. It is on HBO as well. It is the mini series Chernobyl. Chernobyl, you guys remember Chernobyl? Chernobyl, I'm sure those of you, if you're around my age, um, you were probably in what, elementary school, middle school, when the nuclear power plant um, exploded actually in Russia. And you know, back then, you know, being that young, I understood it, but not you know, the enormity of it, you know, the way you're able to see it now, you know, on screen, it was just a, a, a horrific, you know, situation. And it makes sense that the Soviet Union, it makes sense why they fell after seeing some of the um, documentary on it right now. But, and of course, again, being that, that young, I didn't have insight in, into how much the Soviet Union was trying to cover up what actually took place. I mean, when you look at the victims and how they were, you know, sending people in there to put the fire out and all these other, you know, measures they were trying to take as opposed to getting their people out of the area. They were trying to, in a sense, cover it up. Um, but we are shook. It is a really, really good mini series. I hate that there are only, what, I think it's six episodes. So I'm, I'm gonna miss it when it's gone. But if you guys love, you know, history, if you are somewhat a hit of a history buff, I think you guys will really enjoy uh, Chernobyl. And so it's on HBO, it comes on Monday night, and I wanna say it's nine o'clock. So check it out, let me know your thoughts on it.
All right, guys, so dinner is served. Those are the pork chops with my version of barbecue sauce with a little hoisin sauce in there. There are the veggies, some string beans, there are some potatoes. Get a load of that crispiness right there on that potato. I decided to go ahead and sprinkle a little Parmesan cheese on top. Why not, right? And there is my semi-homemade mac and cheese. Let me know what you guys are having for dinner today. Thanks for stopping in, guys, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye, guys.